Hey guys, it's me again. It's Miss Lampy, um, back for more read alouds. Um, I am going to read, this is technically a Valentine's Day book, but I had this book when I was a kid and I also loved the TV show Arthur. I don't know if you guys watched that, um, but I really loved it. So I loved all of the Arthur books. So this is one that I really liked. Um, this is called Arthur's Valentine. So let's just jump right in. <clears throat> Arthur's Valentine. Someone was sending Arthur Valentines and Valentine's Day wasn't until Friday. They were all signed your secret admirer. And this one says, I love you smack. And then this says lips, a little heart, and then it's from your secret admirer. Looks like somebody like kissed the page maybe. Yeah. It was a real mystery. Who was Arthur's secret admirer? It might be Fern. It could be Buster playing a joke. Or maybe even Francine. She was always teasing Arthur. Arthur hoped it was the new girl, Sue Ellen. Hmm, I think Arthur's got a little crushy crush on Sue Ellen. On Wednesday, Arthur found a new Valentine. Apples, bananas, peaches, a pear. With a face like yours, your lucky I care. Your secret admirer. P.S. In your lunchbox, you'll find a treat. It's just for you and it's extra sweet. Arthur hoped it might be chocolate, but at lunch he found this note. Candy is sweet, lemons are sour. I'll be watching you the whole lunch hour. Arthur looked at Sue Ellen. She smiled. <laughs> Arthur was very excited to have Sue Ellen's attention. Thursday, everyone made Valentine boxes. Arthur decided to make a special card instead. When everyone mailed their Valentines, Arthur put his card in Sue Ellen's box. Then, when nobody was looking, Arthur hid the Valentines from the secret admirer in his coat pocket. After school, Arthur took off his coat to play soccer and all the Valentines fell out. Everyone laughed. Buster called him lover boy. Hey, hot lips, shouted Francine. Arthur left when everyone sang. Arthur and his girlfriend sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes Arthur with the baby carriage. <laughs> Haven't heard that one in a long time. The next morning, Arthur said he was sick. You don't want to miss the big Valentine's Day party, do you? Asked his mother. Arthur went to school. Ick, who sent this mushy Valentine? Said Sue Ellen. It's signed Arthur, shouted Buster. Everyone laughed. Arthur loves Sue Ellen, everyone sang. Oh, poor Arthur. After school, Arthur wanted to be alone. On the way home, he climbed up his he climbed up to his treehouse. There was another Valentine. I love you in London, I love you in Rome. Look in your mailbox when you get home. XO 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 So many XOs. Your secret admirer. Oh gross, said Arthur, and he ran into the house. If you look closely, you can see all the XOs on his on his Valentine. I believe this is for you, Arthur, said his mother. It's a love letter, said his sister. Arthur went to his room. There was a movie ticket in the card. My love, tomorrow is the day we meet in row three. You in seat A, me in seat B, your secret admirer. On the card, Arthur saw Smudge. He looked very closely. Something had been erased. There was an F and an R, and an A, F-R-A-N-C-I-N-E, Francine. The next day, Arthur had a plan. He ran to the movie so he wouldn't be late. He found row three. He sat in seat A. Francine smiled at Arthur. So you're the secret admirer, said Arthur. 
good guess, Four Eyes. <laughs> Francine always calls him Four Eyes because he has glasses. It's so mean. Close your eyes, said Arthur. I want to give you a kiss. Really? said Francine. Close your eyes and count to ten. Okay, said Francine. Arthur, can I open my eyes yet? asked Francine. Arthur. <laughs> and Arthur left her Hershey's kisses. Kisses for Francine, and there they all are. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> She's waiting for a kiss. Poor Francine. All right, well, that was short and sweet. That's the end of Arthur's Valentine. Thank you guys so much for watching and for listening, and I will see you guys later.